Howdy everyone, y'all know who it is, it's me, which is Pikachu X, and I'm going to the Smash Bros. Ultimate tier list from part 11, like 11 points update, with Pyramid that just come on Smash Bros. And there's been a lot of buffs slash nerfs of some characters, like Captain Falcon, he got buffed. And let's face it, that's from the main one I know, plus Warrior got nerfed, which is unfortunate for Wario. But let's see what happens. How does this guy rate the characters? I mean, because like Pyramitha, they're pretty dang broken already on online play. I've just seen a few people play them and they already destroy. Take a print screen and it'll react on Twitter. But hey, do you know what else two out of three guys will experience in 2035? Male pet and baldness. That's where today's sponsor keeps comes in. Give me a minute. Best new patch, a patch that many people consider the best patch yet for Ultimate 11.0, with a lot of nerfs top tiers, so which is going to change the tier list completely. Mm -hmm. But something that's been on my mind for a long time is that, well, Ultimate Online sucks. I know that's not revolutionary, <laughs> but you know, it really does suck. To the True. point where it's a completely different game. <clears throat> and I thought that for this tier list, it's the first time I'm doing, first one I'm doing in a while, we're going to do something a little <laughs> bit different. I'm still going to rank basically every character, but okay. because me or anyone else have not actually played the real game of Ultimate, Ultimate Offline competitively for a very, very long time. And if you have, well, you know, kind of breaking quarantine unless you live in like Australia or where that's not a thing. So on today's video, we're going to look through a lot of different tier lists from different various pros from different regions. We're going to look through the patch notes for the last five patches that have all occurred while quarantine was still active. So none okay. of these changes have actually seen any offline effect. So we can't really know if maybe a character that was buffed back in 7.0, which I believe was eight months ago or a year ago, maybe the character is going to break out once offline tournaments come back and we just don't know. So I thought it'd be really interesting to try to focus in really hard on the characters that have changed and maybe also a couple characters like Diddy Kong who have gotten meta changes due to some people exploring them more. And obviously we're going to rank Sephiroth, we're going to rank Mithra, both new characters, both really great characters. First I remember I, I Mithra we'll pretty show freaking strong. Line, right? We got a couple different tier lists here. This is two tier lists from November. This is patch 9.0. Joker, Pikachu, of course, Shulk and Pikachu. Of course, Shulk and Pikachu. Of course, Wario's top tier 10. Halo, Wolf, Sonic. Maybe this is an online tier list. Maybe this isn't. We don't really know. But a lot of these characters have gotten nerfed at some point. <clears throat> Joker was actually nerfed twice now. Joker and Wario were nerfed. Offline tournaments have really been and plus Zero Suit's been nerfed. Leo doesn't even play Joker online, so it's going to be really interesting. Esem's recent tier list from December 2020. <clears throat> one patch ago. We have Raito's tier list from November. But before we try to apply any of this, we're going to basically make my own tier list, which is very simple. It's going to be nerfed, heavily nerfed, buffed, heavily buffed, or like about the same, right? Yoshi's and still the that's same. That's what we're going to go for. So, to start off with, the new characters. Let me find Pyra. Let me find... S tier? Sephiroth. S tier, what? Who was actually nerfed in the most recent patch. But again, we don't know how much. Thank goodness Min Min's been nerfed. Give me I guess a Byleth feels like so long ago. Although technically you could have entered offline tournaments with Byleth, but yeah, I think that's all. Let's try to rank these in order in terms of strength. <clears throat> Steve's so pretty good. The worst character is Byleth mm -hmm. or Steve. They're fine, right? Steve has minecart, super obnoxious move. Byleth is still, you know, kind of a sword character. He's just one of the worst ones. Even Leia. Pyro and Mithra are the best. Says that Byleth is simply not good, even after the buffs. They are beyond overpowered. Heavily buffed. Not actually that big of a deal. Doesn't really change his core problems that he's slow, or they are slow, and mediocre recovery. Not bad, because it's big to snap range, but still not amazing. And just like very one note in terms of characters. Once you realize you can punish the Nair, it becomes massively <laughs> harder for them to actually get anything yeah. more than a one hit thing to hit. And obviously they're bad at coming down. Many d general sword character flaws. I still think, overall, I think Steve gets a bit overrated because people kind of suck against low mobility characters offline. But I think that offline, Steve is probably going to be one of the weaker ones. But very, it would very make annoying sense. and some super, super strong moves. Honestly, I think we'll see Steve do more on a like major level, more upset, simply because like if you're that good, why not just pick a better sword character if you want to play Byleth? But I still think that you know they're pretty close, but they're they're, they're mm -hmm. on the lower 
ish side <laughs> to the point where like they're somewhere in the middle. Min Min ultimate's very balanced. Min Min can piss people so off, but no. it's not the best Someone's character by mile. Low high. Only use two really high good spammy moves. Mid, low, high low. It's like it's just extremely hard. But in general, this has pop up. The characters will see less competitively, <laughs> and then for these, it's gonna be really hard to know exactly who's the best. But Min Min is in this tier where like a lot of people hate Min Min, especially people. <laughs> Japan, apparently. I've heard it. That's what I've heard. But it's more super of a game that she's super degenerate and just stands across the stage. Yes! That just got me in perfectly. Well. So I think, in general, Min Min is more of a case of extremely polarizing, maybe extremely <laughs> awful to play against. <laughs> extremely annoying. Some matches, but probably not like perfect winning <laughs> Next up, we have Sephiroth, who I think is clearly in the high, high or top. With top tier, very That's fragile it. in terms of weight, <clears throat> but everything else basically. Sephiroth is pretty there. decent. However, Sephiroth very very bad online. Basically, can't ledge trap, can't do anything. A lot of his strengths, the fact that he has like super long range moves, doesn't really matter when you can't space properly online. So yeah, it's really 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 hard to say exactly how good Sephiroth is, simply because his character archetype does not work whatsoever online. However. We have seen for most people that they do think he's very strong. Dark Angel is a very good mechanic mm -hmm. for him. I don't love combat mechanics, but it is a little <laughs> bit less annoying to deal with than RSM because you don't, you're not basically incentivized to camp him out forever, and he can't yeah. get several stocks with it. I, like to, I guess it, he can actually if he's down three stocks, I believe. But yeah, at that point you're down two stocks, which is not the biggest thing. But yeah, I think he's definitely high or top tier. I can't see him being mid tier whatsoever. We're absolutely going to no. see some Sephiroth make some waves. Uh, I know Tweak's playing Sephiroth a lot, <laughs> although I think he feels like he wants a different character. That's why he's also picked up Diddy. But yeah. Next up, we have Pyra slash Mithra. So if I were to rank these characters individually, S. Pyra would be contender for like the worst character in the game. What? Do I think she's worse than Isabel or like Lomac? Who's to say? It doesn't really matter. My point is that her power level, if you were forced to stay with Pyra in an offline environment, not online, she's very strong online, I think she's one of the worst in the game. That said, together, because of how she's only really required to play when you actually aren't really suffering <coughs> from her slow mobility, <coughs> her lagging, she gets the kills. her lack of combos, relative lack of combos. She does have Ooh, give me a second, I gotta catch up. Let's continue. It's in the same vein as you know, trying to rank Charizard. You, you're never really going to play Charizard only. But if you did play Charizard only, he'd be one of the worst. And that's kind of how I feel like Pyra is. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of people are going to disagree with this, saying, Well, man, I placed the lead smash. Pyra's really annoying. He leads the lead smash. It's like, yeah, duh. But like, basically everyone I've actually been able to play, even short offline sessions or that you choose, <laughs> basically say that. Offline, Mithra and Pyra are not for Pyra's strength goes like this, and the trajectory for Mithra's strength is offline goes like this. <laughs> I, I personally think Mithra and Pyra are going to be super, super strong offline. The mm -hmm. main thing is that online, it's very hard to use them both perfectly, but even then you saw MK Leo bring them out at the online tournament, and I think pretty winning Meister with two three stocks, I believe, and then Rio and Spargo as well. So, you know, definitely <laughs> very, very scary already, and that's crazy considering they are also super unoptimized. Like, they're difficult characters to play together because you have yeah. two characters, you have to swap between them, they have different you know, move properties for all of them. If you can't work with them right, then you're not going to win. Characters with a lot of, like, tight links, brain traps, character-specific combos, stuff like that. So I think it's going to take a while before they get optimized. But the fact that a character like that is already doing <laughs> really well is a very, very good sign. If mm -hmm. you're interested in playing those characters. And I know I am. They're definitely the character that when going for when I play Ultimate, Definitely the character I I am looking forward to using the most. That's all the new characters. Me, I stole my mains. Yoshi, Pikachu. If we them on a tier list, I would rank... I would I would probably put it like this, if this were, were a traditional tier, tier list. Effectively, maybe Steve is up here simply because playing against Steve is so awkward, and I feel like abusing his like slow mobility and stuff like that. You can do it if you play a long like, first to ten, but like doing it in the best of three, best of five tournaments, that's probably going to be hard. So, effectively, I feel like Steve's probably going to be here, but... You know, it's, it's, it's about the same. <laughs> yeah, I would probably put Sephiroth towards the lower end of top tier, maybe like 10, 11, 9. 
the game, whereas I feel like Mithra and Pyra together are oh. absolutely contenders for best character in the game. Yeah. Like any good match against even top tier characters. <laughs> Once I play the, these characters offline, and I really felt like, damn, I don't actually feel like I struggle much against like top tiers, right? <laughs> that's when I knew, like, okay. Right, Pyra and Mithra are so pretty broke. With, like, and everything. We'll bunch them up for now, but we can add them to the list later. Let's just kind of go through the tier list. I mean, the patch notes. Okay, so let's not do the Byleth update because I feel like we actually did get a little bit of offline practice. So let's simplify it a little bit, try to keep this video to a reasonable length. Let's do Acorn now. June 2020, everyone should have been one. If you weren't, well, I hope you're Australian, mate. Right, this is the Min Min patch. At a small battlefield is just the thing that we have not seen competitive smash with either small battlefield or sephiroth stage that actually buffs characters that want smaller stages both of them it's kind of crazy right like i think it's such a massive shame that we have not gotten to see those two stages be actually used in competitive play and honestly just like the thing that you can play any song it's gonna be nice for tournaments too uh, yeah let's look at the patch notes and look look at overall impressions let me prep buffed so we'll put them in here if they get <coughs> Captain Falcon goes there. Captain Falcon goes there, I'm asking. The same. Nerfed and big nerfs, aka Wario, Pelotena. Dude, I'm gonna. I'm already telling you now. This is gonna be the clickbait tier. What you got here from a thumbnail? Putting these characters as last, yeah. Yeah, Wario, Pelotena is used to. They also got nerfed, nerfed big time. Put this tier list. So Kirby got buffed. Falcon got buffed. Mm -hmm. so he buffed his up smash. Honestly, one of the crazy. Let's I'm continue. All the things, and I think Side B as well. Definitely think Falcon is one of the characters that's going to be doing better offline rather than online. Mm -hmm. He's not really having any projectiles and stuff like that. Yeah, we can only put Falcon in big buffs because these buffs were big and they can just weaken patch as well. <laughs> so, Final Smash doesn't matter. Sheep got buffs. F Smash is a little bit better. Oh, Sheep! It's kind of crazy. Like, there's so many characters like this. Like, originally you would think, like, okay, well, Sheep got buffs. You don't never really see that character online anyway, so like no one's literally no one has ever noticed. Falcon got buffed, Marth got buffed, GBC got buffed. So many of these characters literally never see online. I mean, Falcon you kind of see, but like some of the I see me too online sometimes. Are not really gonna make anyone change. Meta Knight, Meta Knight my boy. <laughs> we had a pit main over. Someone swapped the pit. He got buffs, right? But generally, I'm not gonna put people in the big buffs on, unless I think they made it to like a competitively viable tier. Sheik is in the border here, but her buffs were so small that others didn't care. You know, she got heavily buffed, but he's pit. Who cares? He's not terrible because there's no real terrible characters in this game. But he's also Who cares? He doesn't really have anything threat threatening. He doesn't have like oh my god, I can't abuse dark this pit. Thing. Who cares as well? Or, like, he's just a pit. What are you enforcing on me? Like, what are you Pit and Dark Pit are both okay. pretty honest characters. Uh, right, I got some changes, but he's the same. Small nerfs, small buffs. Um, Sentry Blitzer on Insular. Diddy Yoshi's. Kong buffed, um, and Diddy Kong is a character that I'm already going to be putting in big buffs. Because he's, he's yeah, naturally he's good. Where Diddy Kong's buffs massive, even in this patch. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty significant. Like, hey, Sonic fast. got a buff in the fi oh, final smash only. King D so got a buff, I remember. It's faster, S smash is bigger range, <clears> and then some bug fixes with down special. Not the biggest changes overall, but the meta that has been pushed by Tweak and many other Diddy players, I think is going to really show off. A lot of people starting out, they just saw Diddy Kong as the character that was in Smash 4, and that, and because you couldn't play Diddy Kong like you could in Smash 4, now everyone thought Diddy Kong is useless. But I really don't think that's the case, and I think people are definitely seeing it. Tweak did even win an online tournament. Although that is just an online card with hmm. D3. I mean, yeah, D3 got some small buffs late this month, <clears throat> this last patch, too. Unless we see more buffs, we can put them there. Again, D3 is like top tier. Of Alamada, Villager got left buffs. Kind of offline. Villager got buffs, but probably not super competitive or relevant. Although Villager is a little bit underrated. Oh, yeah, We Fit. We Fit keeps getting buffs. We Fit is actually a very scary character. They actually got a shadow buff in the last patch. Inside, we have five less and light range. That's the football header. Lula, who cares? Corin got buffed, but yeah, Corin is one of the worst sword characters by far. <laughs> the even came out and said, That's unfortunate. Like, I like Corin a little bit. Corin's one actual use one to actually use a little bit. I want to. Basically. They got buffed. Screw this character. 
his character's awful to play against. Good Bayo players, like, I play against a good Bayo player here, and oh my god, it's it's awful. I like Bayonetta. It's, it's either you pretty cool design character. Where they get their zero to death combos and you die. What? Uh, then you're just gonna KO. That's all I'm gonna say. Team K rule got buffed, but again, like, none of these characters I really foresee going up much in here. <laughs> Why K rule get buffed? Irrelevant characters, like Sheik is almost relevant. Then what if, if Void chooses to nerf himself and play Sheik instead of Mithra? Meta Knight's not relevant. Bale's not really relevant. Any of these characters could make some upsets, but are they gonna be consistent top 8? Isabel. <laughs> Isabel, yeah. In Sora got buffed, wow. Like, it, it, uh, this is the patch of just like. And somehow he usually sucks. <laughs> He's just so freaking slow. And somehow it's just. Hands down one of the worst. The worst, game. worst characters of the game. You don't want to use him. He's too again, slow. Not, like, <clears> characters that you really <clears> that'll just mess his day up. <clears> yeah, we'll have to see. I, I could be wrong on some of these, of course. 8.1 was just a bug fix and the online patch. 9.0. Now, this is the speed patch. Donkey Kong. Um, side special. Wow. Pikachu yeah, got. No one's hitting that anyway. Pikachu Let's got both. See. Why did this get buffed? I forgot about. Why did this get? Why did Pikachu get buffed, dude? <laughs> Ness and Pikachu are both Ness top S S S plus tier. And then Bruh! Pikachu's already S tier, thing man. Especially Ness in an online year. That's what you say. This is good. Time where people are like, oh my god, hashtag fix ultimate online. This is what Sakurai meant for you. When he buffed Ness players, he was saying, fuck you, I don't give a shit. I'm buffing Ness. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to put both of these characters here. Now, Ness, already in high tier character, I would say. Any buffs and, like, increased power, increased speed. Neither mean of Pikachu, buffs, I love Pikachu, because I love him. He's really good. Downer is faster. I don't know. I mean, I for me, Pikachu, it's all around good. And I'm no big pro, but I'm still pretty good with Pikachu. You don't want to fight my Yoshi, though. <laughs> that I'll F you up with. Now, those buffs are huge. Even if the buffs themselves are not as big as a buff King K. Rool got. Because it moves them more competitively than... My Ganon, you than should be scared of as well a little bit. Because you know, I've be messed so much shit way. up with Ganon as well. This buff... Oh, just fix... But the big buff really for Pikachu is that every other top tier gets nerfed mm -hmm. but Pikachu for some reason. And, hey, uh, Pikachu's yeah, not overpowered. All of your even matchups now become winning instead. That's still a huge, massive buff, even if it's like not actually a, a direct buff to your character for the most part. Pikachu's I not OP. Blah, 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 slight buffs. Charizard. Oh, yeah. They fixed Charizard's side special and up B special them hit more consistently and yet i heard they're worse now what hitting consistently. <laughs> is sonic a buff yeah. this is like a multi-hit patch <laughs> they didn't really fix the multi look audio it's the same it really shows you just like how little ultimate meta develops online because you don't even play these characters online like there's only like a couple robin nest players that and like Game Watch players that even bother to try online, and of course Sonic players. But it's gonna be really interesting when everything comes back. Same Bowser Jr. got buffed. No one cares. Hey, so it's not gonna be incredibly relevant. I like Junior. Buffs too, I think. Maybe got buffed. Not relevant. Simon got buffed. Not relevant. Well, cool. so Why did Simon and Richter get buffed? The buffs, for the most part, I don't feel like are happening to the characters that really matter. Outside of these characters, I wouldn't really say there's any character that I've been like, wow, this character really got taken to the next level with this one change. What? Maybe I'm wrong about Simon that. Rickard Could very well be, but I think that the, for the most part, we're going to see that the characters from here that start really improving are not really going to be doing so because of the patch alone. It's going to be if a Bayo or a Sheik main can really find like the tech and really just optimize push their meta of the hmm. character next level maybe because it, maybe they give these characters less chance because of the buffs but i don't think the buffs themselves are ever really gonna transform the characters and take them to the next level right so now in tempo now we get the other new stage northern cave dope stage except it gives me motion sickness and i can't <laughs> see anything so i honestly don't want to play on it that's something for the character for every flaw with every stage video oh yeah fox got buffed now 
box is probably on the border. His buffs were not that big, but I hear he got a big confirm. So I'm going to put it in here because box is competitively relevant, whether you like mm -hmm. it or not. There's top box players in both America. He's and fast America, and good. And even slight buffs to this is going to matter. Funny thing is, this is another case of like, they literally don't exist online. But we're going to be able to see them once our comes back. I'm surprised nothing's happened to Yoshi at all ever. Yoshi's the character has been mid tier for most of Smash. Yo, I want to see Huckle do better. Use F Smash got bigger range. Like, why would they only do this? I guess this is probably to make it draw plus, increase the final attack's range. Oh, I heard. So, <laughs> Young Link. I heard they buffed this to make it hit more consistently, but now you can consistently escape it by Smash GIing up. Um, so that was actually a nerf to Young Link. But I guess we'll still put him in the same because overall, I I don't think it's going to be the most massive deal. Although I could be wrong about that. And he did also get some buffs for that. Dude, there are so many characters here. I, I literally can't find <laughs> We'll put him in nerf then. Chat keeps telling me that um, he did actually get nerfs. Oh yeah, I heard he got... <laughs> this is another thing. Yeah. Mm. Bug fixes, bug fixes. Okay. Right, when were the Joker changes? There were two Joker nerfs. Was that 7.0? Oh my god, I forgot about them buffing Shoto's too. Dude, there's so many changes. We'll be here all day. Yeah, they nerfed Joker here. Making our Sen go away faster and making down guns worse. So if we include that, honestly, I don't see how you don't include Joker in the big nerfs category. Down guns got worse. You have our Sen for significantly shorter. And now in the latest patch counter easier to punish by four frames and they made side b four frames lagger i think the side b change is the real big one i actually don't know if it applies to both our senless joker and regular joker but i know it applies to regular joker and if it applies to both it's a huge nerf honestly because it's the move you spam when you're in our send mode yeah side special yeah i think min min maybe <laughs> they can buff <laughs> Min Min did not need buffs. It's fair to put them in the big nerfs category. Although, Min Min is all around just an annoyance. Now, when were the Palo nerfs? <clears throat> right, so Palo in 7.0 also got nerfed. <laughs> right, increased power of the last attack for up tilt, but like no one fucking uses up tilt, so it doesn't matter for the most part. But they made Nair worse, and they made down throw not kill confirm nearly as much. <clears throat> and then you get the 10.0 changes. <clears throat> I mean, 11.0, where Dash is. More laggy, fair, is now parry punishable, and it's two frames more lag, and grab range is less. <laughs> so I feel like it's definitely safe to say that Palo got big nerfs, and CSS nerfs, honestly, not really nerfed at all. Kind of? So up, up special is like, what, like two frames lower, and like Nair is two frames laggy, but you're generally not punishing those anyway, and there's a lot of other things you can do too. I really think that like the nerfs they did earlier when they made down B like very less were more are actually more impactful than these. Mm -hmm. Caesar's plays completely the same. She doesn't didn't really get nerfs in her core. Wow, yo. But it, they didn't really put it over the edge wah, like, wah, wah. <laughs> to where it's actually punishable and she'll you know, it, it's gonna be punishable uh -oh. maybe now and then, but even then you can use Sayer for off air to make it safe anyway on shield. Whereas other characters like Palu, Joker, and especially sorry, Warrior Mains. I'm not sorry, you deserve it. <coughs> what? I hate Warrior Mains. <coughs> Can't tell. Uh, actually, I actually don't hate Warrior Mains. Blue is cool, but um, Warrior you? is a character to play against. I think we can all agree, agree on that. Warrior did not get big nerfs in terms of the list. There's two nerfs here: up tilt, <coughs> less active frames, and down special is slower. His up tilt was a good move. Midwalk and Max Walk. But these changes actually change a lot in how Wario plays and how you play against him. Mm -hmm. Knowing that he only has like two or maybe three ways to land walk instead of five, and maybe, you know, depending on the character, you maybe have even more. Honestly, Max. Here's a waft. I Just think it's definitely. Jump on top of the waft. No. Maybe puts him down, down a tier because as you could see, he was already on the very edge of the list here. And for him, CSS also on the edge of the list actually jumps down a full tier. But looking at this list, right, and many others like it, let's like let's look at Esim's list. I feel like a lot of these characters, you know, Wario, CSS, Palu, Joker, they all got big nerfs. 
Um, I would say that CSS got off the easiest. Why is Rob top tier? Wario or Paul got nerfed hardest. But Wario Paul sucks. I mean, I mean, Rob sucks. He's so easy to juggle. High, high tier. And Ganon's not the worst in the game. Still going to be top tier. Maybe like a spot or two lower. Worst in the game goes right. to Incineroar. <laughs> say that they are not going anywhere competitively. He's slow as hell. He sucks, but because he can't recover either. And Luigi's actually high tier because he can just zero to death you. Be like, boop, 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 dead. I actually think I'm not going to do a full image tier list. So everyone that's skipped here at the end, um, you can just take Ethan's tier list and post it to Reddit. Do it. Um, and then just just edit and move these move, move the characters and big nerfs slightly down. You can you can look at any tier list here you want. And you can kind of see, like, if you think these are on the way down, you can go down. You can take, you know, the tier list, big buffs. Let's look at Falcon. Diddy and we fit. So where's Falcon in this tier list? He's in C. Maybe he even jumps up to A, low A. Jumps up to B if you if you try to write those tier lists. If you're more into tweaks tier list, maybe he jumps up to A. You got big buffs. Um, although this was after some of the buffs. So yeah. Basically, I don't really know because there's so many buffs. <coughs> look at how many characters have been buffed. And look at how many characters have big buffs. Yoshi needs to be buffed. Totally many new characters, and then there's big nerfs as well honestly this nerf tier surprisingly like i feel like almost no one got slightly nerfed i feel like everyone here they got nerfed almost got nerfed twice or they got big nerfs to begin with actually you could probably change the css to nerfs just so young ladies in there long but yeah i think uh that's about the gist of it i would say that if i had to implant this let's just take yoink this tier list put this one close to the top tier i don't know Mupalu further back. Damn. Perfect. And then we put Sephiroth in. We fit is like an entire tier higher. Scuffed tier list. Hey man. When a Sakura releases a good online, I'll release a good tier list. How about that? How about that? What? You guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to new. Bye.